fellas, Smash Ultimate is finally over. Phew! Three years, almost 90 characters, and some of them are better than others. I mean, some of these characters are ones that you've probably played one time and then never again. So I started thinking, you know, there are a lot of characters that probably wouldn't make it into the next game. And why should they? Look at this list of characters in the game. Do you really think all of these guys deserve to come back? I don't. That's why today we're going to find out who's going to get cut in the next Smash game. Who deserves to stay? Who needs to go? And who should probably have never made it in the first place? Let's find out. Mario deserves to stay. Probably staying in is Diddy. Incineroar could go either way. K. Rool has no shot of getting back in. And never should have existed is... Rob never should have existed. He's cute? No, he's not. A lot of the early characters stay in, right? DK is in the game, no matter what. Link is obviously in the game, no matter what. Samus, I would say, is on the chopping block, if I'm being honest. But she just had a new game, and it's doing pretty well. I'm not baiting. She's not relevant. This is not bait. The Samus shit? She has one game every 10 years, and it sells terribly. She finally got a good game, and now you guys are acting like she's iconic? She could get replaced by me, Gunner, and maybe eight people would care. Yoshi is there for the the young appeal. Kirby is Sakurai's baby, so you can't cut him. He's, he's sort of grandfathered in. You're crazy if you think any of the originals can be cut. Oh, really? You don't think I could chop Ness? You don't think I could chop Ness? Ness, who haven't had, a, who hasn't had a game in 25 years? You're right, though, because you can't. Ness is too iconic now. The reason you can't get rid of Ness is because Ness's fighting style is so, like, unique to him. I feel that way about Falcon now. Falcon is, like, grandfathered in. Not by anything he did. He's just, like, he's old. Luigi stays in, obviously. I guess you have to keep in all the original 12. Pikachu, clearly. But... You know Puff was supposed to be cut, right? At one point. Oh, you know what the problem here is? I hate to do it. Series <laughs> is vegetative. But grandfathered in with a unique playstyle. That's Ness and Falcon. Their games are in a coma. Peach staying. I think Well, she has a unique playstyle. And she has girl power. Hashtag girl boss. Oh, did I not put Fox in? Oh yeah, Fox stays no matter what. Fo well. No. Yeah, Fox is here too. Are you are you acting like Fox's game is not in a vegetative state? You think Fox's series has any amount of relevancy at all? Falco's the same. Falco can never leave because he was cool 20 years ago. Falco's in forever. Well, Fox, Falco has become more and more distinct in terms of his play style. I don't know if Falco stays. Fal Falco's probably staying in. Probably. Bowser... He stays. Oh my god, these are all Mario characters. Ice Climbers are fucking gone. <laughs> Ice Climbers have no chance in hell of ever coming back, I don't think. They are a nightmare to program. They stopped the game from coming out at one point. They're never coming back. Did they deserve to exist? Yes. Yes. They did a cool thing at one time. But that gimmick is over. Die peacefully. Sheik. Gotta be real with you on this one, folks. Uh... I don't think so. Sheik's from one game, what, 25 years ago? Sheik's design now in Smash is iconic. She does have a unique playstyle, but it's changed. Ness, Falcon, Fox have been mostly the same in how they play from game to game. It just depends on the engine. Sheik went from a chain grab fair lord in Melee to a very precise, interruptive burst character in Brawl. And then in Smash 4, she became this, like, oppressive... She would just throw stuff out. And, like, you didn't have to be precise with it. You just threw it out. Sheik has changed too much. She's not iconic anymore. Would you shake on Sheik if she was back in Zelda Down B? No. Because Zelda is probably staying, actually. Ze they, they need Link characters. Dude, the Zelda series... They haven't had a new character since Melee. Well, no, since Brawl, I guess, with the Toon character. If you want to count that. That sucks. Dr. Mario is gone. <laughs> Dr. Mario is only here because everyone is here. Should he have existed? Yeah, I think so. He's funny. I think he should stay. But I don't think he will. Pichu uh, never should have existed. This is a dumb meme. This is a shitty joke. 
<laughs> he hurts himself. <laughs> He's so bad. It's not funny. Oh, corny ass. Get out of here. Especially when they end up being good. <laughs> Marth does not deserve to be in the game, but he's grandfathered by this point. Fire Emblem is great, obviously, not for me. <laughs> Marth has a lot of uh, love in the Smash world for existing the way that he does, right? Oh, you're right, but his series is a vegetative. That's true. <sighs> you know what that means. Series is vegetative or character is obsolete. <laughs> Like, Mark doesn't matter anymore, right? He's not, he wouldn't stay on his own, right? Lucina is, is gone. I don't think she never should have existed. It's a fun idea, but doesn't work. Young Link, no way he comes back. Young Link was gone for a while. He's only here because everyone is here. Ganondorf absolutely stays. Not only is Ganon one of the only villains in the game, he also is like, I, well, hold on. Stays but requires significant rework. That's Ganon, Donkey Kong, and Kirby. Samus? No, she's fine. <laughs> she's lucky to be here, okay? Samus should thank her lucky stars that she's even in the game at this point. The problem is that all the N64 characters are just like punch and kick. It's just like fighting. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Mewtwo. Mewtwo's gone, dude. No way. Mewtwo, the whole gimmick was he was supposed to be like super powerful and all seeing and... But like now there's a Pokemon that's literally God. What is the point of Mewtwo in a world where God is a Pokemon? Are you kidding me? Roy's gone too. Uh, which means Krom is gone. I would put Krom and never should have existed, but... Krom is cool as hell. He's one of the coolest characters in this game. Game & Watch is interesting. Because Game & Watch has his gimmick. He has his thing he does that nobody else does. And he's obviously dead, but I think he stays. I think he's grandfathered. I think he stays in. No, he should have existed. Game & Watch is the first of the funny gimmick characters. Of which there were several. Including Rob, Duck Hunt, who has a dead game. He should have existed because it was very funny. But he's a dead game. DDD is probably staying in. Meta Knight could go either way. I think that's what this is. Because one of them will stay in. The other one... Who's more iconic? DDD. For sure. Pit never should have existed. Pit was a literal who from the very beginning. Everybody else that came in from Brawl is, like, iconic. But Pit is, uh... Pit... Who, nobody even knew who he was. Zero Suit is also gone. I don't think she stays in. I think you replace her with a different uh, Metroid rep. I don't know who it is, because that game seems to have new characters every time, but she's gone. Wario. Oh, dude. Wario's iconic. <laughs> this is just a Mario game. Dude, Wario is fucking iconic. Well, Wario is kind of a who in the Mario universe now. He has a shitty side series that nobody buys or watches. He's probably staying in, but... I think Wario's iconic, but I think it's just because I like Wario. I think he's, he, I think he goes up here, though. I think he stays. I thought about it, though. I considered it. Snake is... Snake could go either way. I don't know. Because he's third party, and his series is dead. But he's iconic, and people like him. Ike is gone. Ike is cut. Pokemon Trainer stays? With a rework. Think of that, bro! Three different Pokemon. You get three different ones for the new gen. It's gonna be the rabbit and who are the new ones? Is it the rabbit? Is it still the rat? I always forget if it's Hawaii or England now. It's the rabbit. It's England. The rabbit and the the crying turtle and the monkey. It's those three. I don't play that series. I'm a grown up. Lucas? <laughs> Goodbye, young man. His game never even came out over here. How did he even get here? I remember seeing Lucas come up in Brawl, and I thought Ness was dead, and I was so sad. I thought Ness was gone forever. Thank God he wasn't. Sonic could go either way. It's the same thing. Sonic deserves to stay, right? But he's a licensing thing. He's probably gonna stay. He's probably staying. He if if you're gonna if you're gonna pull the whole like licensing thing, Sonic is one of the first people you talk to. He has to be. But he needs a rework. <laughs> yeah, he needs something. I think Olimar has no shot. I would say Olimar is 50-50, but Olimar isn't the main character anymore. I think it would be replaced by a different Pikmin character. I don't think 
Pikmin is gone, but I don't think it's Olimar. He's still more recognizable. I agree. Like, Olimar is way bigger than them, but I don't think he comes back. I don't want to... I don't want to have personal bias here. I just fucking love Olimar, you know? Lucario's gone. No, ch no chance Lucario comes back. There's no way Lucario comes back. Toon Link, dead game, kind of? No, no, not at all, actually, because he has, like, spirit tracks and shit, right? Toon Link could go either way, because it feels like they've got the two, like, Zelda timelines going in at the same time. And Toon Link could just be, like, what's the, in, like, the Link's Awakening? The figure Link, you know what I mean? They could just keep updating the that version of it. These characters are gone, but might be replaced by a different rep. Wolf is gone. Honestly, the fact that Star Fox is still around, you get one, and you're, you might get two. You're not getting three. Villager, he has to stay. Not because he deserves to, but because Animal Crossing is so fucking profitable. Animal Crossing is still, I think, in the top ten games selling right now. I never realized how popular it was, dude. I think he probably stays. The reason I'm not convinced is because they might tone it back to only fighting characters. I think he's up here because Animal Crossing has, like, shut the hell up. I think Animal... Uh, yeah, I think Villager stays. Mega Man. <laughs> he's gone. No, he's so dead. He's so dead, dude. It's weird that that series still gets, like, mobile ports and stuff. I still hear about it every once in a while. It's so weird. We Fit Trainer, gone. No chance. She's not coming back. Rosalina is... I don't know, dude. I want to say she isn't coming back, but she keeps getting invited to, to parties and tennis and carts and stuff. Rosalina is 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, it really depends on how much they want to push her. Because I see her going the Pauline route, where she just goes away for like 20 years, and then people are like, remember her? Little Mac. Oh, it hurts me to do this. This hurts me so much, you guys. I mean, his playstyle is very unique, but I would argue that Smash 4 is where playstyles got really bad. Because in Smash 4, they were like, wouldn't it be funny if Luigi only did one thing? Because we have 70 characters, and they all need to do one thing. And Little Mac did one thing. Greninja's gone. He's absolutely replaced. Me Fighters? Probably never should have existed. They're just bad Mario, bad Samus... And very bad Marth. I feel like the gimmick of playing as your mom and your aunt and your grandpa is probably very big at a casual level. I bet me sell. Oh, dude, me sell skins. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And I hate to do it. Oh. Polytana should never have been in the game. And I don't care what you say. Honestly, it's because of Pit. Kid Icarus should have never been represented. Sakurai's baby? He has Kirby. Just be happy with Kirby. Everybody tells me Polytana is great in her game, which is which is really cool. I'm happy for her, but she sucks in this game. She's not interesting. She's not funny. She doesn't have any personality. She just twirls her stick. Pac-Man. See, the thing is, Pac-Man is iconic, but I don't think it's like Sonic. Sonic and Mario have history. Mario and Pac-Man are like acquaintances. Like, they're boys, but he's not getting invited. You know what I mean? Mario and Pac-Man will do collabs every once in a while, but they're not in a Discord call together. Does that make sense? Bandai makes Smash? I don't care. I don't think he stays. Woo! Could go either way. He has enough star power and, and casual appeal. I'll put him up here. I'll put him up here. Robin, get the fuck out of here. Well, no. Robin at least had a, had a unique play style. They tried something cool with Robin, but he's gone. Shulk is gone, but he might be replaced, but I doubt it. Wouldn't he be replaced with Rex or something? Or whoever is in the new game? Shulk's out of here. But he might be- eh, gone, but might be replaced. Might be replaced. Emphasis on might. Can I bold this? Might be replaced. Bowser Jr., uh, I would say probably not. And I think I'm gonna need this more for the future characters that we're about to rank. Probably gone. Ryu, probably gone. I don't think, I think Street Fighter's relevance is sort of on a downswing. And I think if you're cutting fat, he's in there. I think Snake is more relevant because Snake was like the first holy shit character. You guys weren't alive for that. You guys weren't alive for Snake. You don't understand how big of a holy shit moment that was. But Snake is dead. That's a good point. Snake's probably gone. You're right. 
I'll shake. Snake's probably gone. Yeah, he's gonna drag him down here. Snake, dr <laughs> Ryu snuck Snake back down. And the more I look at this, now that I have a new tier, Incineroar's probably gone. Cloud. See, the thing about Cloud is that everybody wanted Cloud, and Square Enix, or Square, yeah, Square Enix, like, held that Final Fantasy VII remake card forever, and then they finally blew their load, and they played that card, and now they can never play it again. They're trying to extend it, right? They're breaking it out into parts so that they can ride this puppy all the way to the end. But Cloud himself? Probably gone. I think if you have third-party characters, it's Sonic and maybe Pac-Man. Corrin? Uh... No. Never should have been in the game. I mean, I, I don't... I, I'm not a Fire Emblem player. Maybe she's really cool. But I just don't think she has anything about her. Bayonetta. Oh, uh, that one's tough. Because, like, Bayonetta is firmly in Switch's pocket, right? I don't think she has a shot, but she might. It depends on how much they value her at Nintendo. My guess? She's not coming back. I think if you're Nintendo and you're chopping this down to Nintendo, like, first party, maybe second party stuff, I don't think she comes back. Inkling? Dude, yeah, she's in. Splatoon is huge, dude. Ridley? <laughs> probably gone. You had your fun. You got the meme. The reason I say probably is because Lord knows, like, if Metroid is gonna get more, like, rep, Ridley has to stay. Because there aren't that many other Re Metroid characters you can pick from, right? Also, he's a villain. Yeah, you need more of those. I guess. I I don't know. I kind of hate that argument because people are like, you need villains. Why? Who said that? There's not a quota for villains. It's not diversity. What the fuck? Richter and Simon are dead. So dead. The game is dead and they're dead too. Where are they? Why is... Wait, why is Richter the default? Isabel? I don't think Animal Crossing gets two reps. She's iconic, but I don't think Animal Crossing... I feel like most series are only going to get one red. Maybe two. Yoker? Probably gone, right? Hero? Ooh, Hero's weird. Japan loves Dragon Quest, bro. Japan goes crazy for Dragon Quest. I think Hero's gone. But I do think he could be replaced. But probably not. Banjo-Kazooie, truly iconic. <laughs> Dessert, you know what? These guys have stood the test of time. I don't know how they got over there. How they got in the dead game tier. It must have been some kind of glitch. These guys, who doesn't love Banjo-Kazooie, right? <laughs> huh? God, it's so sad. I don't think Terry comes back, bro. <laughs> I think Terry is like... Terry's kind of a who. South America loves Terry. Why does every continent have their favorites? This is a Sakurai pick. Yeah, he wanted this. But I don't know if anybody's clamoring over Terry. Byleth is... never should have existed. Byleth is a marketing choice. No, I don't even know if that's true, because you need... If I... if you don't get Corrin, I think it's fine if you get Byleth. I think Byleth stays, but gets replaced. And I think that's okay. Corrin should have never been in. Robin was an interesting idea, but won't come back. You do need Fire Emblem reps because it is a very popular series in Japan. So it's fine. But I don't think they come back, but I do think they get replaced by another character. Min Min. <laughs> Min Min's gone. Dead game, honestly. Well, Arms 2, 2022. It's happening. It's happening. So the, the problem with Min Min is like, Arms as a series probably didn't deserve to be in Smash. But her as a character is really cool. She's very unique, and she functions in a cool way. Probably not a chance, though. Nice shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Minecraft. Ooh. Here's the thing. Minecraft deserves to be in Smash more than pretty much anybody. But I think it could go either way, because it depends on their vision for the game. If Steve doesn't fit into the, the vision that they have, he's not staying in. Not that he doesn't deserve it, but... Sephiroth, uh, doesn't come back. I think he's cool, but, like, you get one, maybe. You get Cloud, maybe. That's it. Pyramithra. Now, you want to talk about never should have existed. I just hate anime. <laughs> you tell me. You guys tell me. Does this character deserve to be in the game? I don't think so. They were in one game in a series. Like, you already had Shulk, right? That's the same series. 
take your show. Soccer, I wanted them from the start. Yeah, I know. I saw his figurines. Never meet your heroes, right? <laughs> Wario is iconic. Fire Emblem and Pokemon will be cut. No! I said a lot of Pokemon stay. Pikachu stays. Jigglypuff probably stays. Incineroar gets replaced. The thing about Pokemon is they're going to get new reps, but it's new characters. Pokemon's going to get new characters, like new Pokemon. That's what it is. Kazuya is gone. Honestly, I genuinely feel this way. I'm literally doing it right now. Here he goes. He's going to go down here. Here he comes. Here he comes. His game's dead. When was the last Kingdom Hearts game? 2019? I don't think Sora comes back. I could see Sora deserving it. If you asked me before Smash 4 or Ultimate if Sora should be in the game, I would say yes. Wait, if you asked me before Smash 4 or Ultimate, no. I would say no. But if you're going to put characters like Terry, Min Min, Joker, Hero, Bayonetta, yeah, he deserves to be in the game. That said, I don't think he sticks around. Like, I think he's a one-off. I just don't think Sora comes back. For the same reason that I don't think a lot of these third parties come back. But I think Sora has the least likelihood. So I'll, I'll put him in no chance. I do think he deserved to be in the game. I will shake on that. Because people clearly wanted him like crazy. But let's not forget, he was only the winner of the Smash Ballot when every other character had been chosen and other characters like Geno got turned into costumes. So let's not pretend like he's, you know, the prom king over here. People only wanted him because everybody else has already been picked. It's like your silver medal, except times 88. So let me look at this one more time. Greninja, why are people fighting me about Greninja, by the way? Why are you guys fighting me about Greninja? I don't think Greninja matters. Greninja is popular? Are you sure? You mean on DeviantArt? Because that doesn't count. You know who's really popular on DeviantArt? Gardevoir. And not for the reason you're thinking. Greninja is 2 for 2 in placing first in national slash global Pokemon popularity polls he stay. What? What are you- are you serious? Why? Okay, these three are replaced with new reps. Lucario 2. I think we get new Pokemon for these. Put Daisy on that tier? I don't deal with Echoes. Isn't it so weird? I saw somebody making a tweet about this. Isn't it so weird how Sakurai made a big deal about Echoes and then did nothing with them? <laughs> He was like, we have a new type of fighter, the Echo Fighter. And then he never released another one. Isn't that insane? It's my favorite time of the evening. Dude, this one's actually going to get me in trouble. Come to think of it, people are going to be really mad at me for this one. Enraging Smash Twitter mobs isn't even fun anymore. They're so annoying. I s Earlier today, I said that I didn't like the way Sora played. I can't wrap my head around it because he's so weird. And somebody was like, stop hating on characters to be interesting. I'm like, huh? They have every right. <laughs> With this one, I can understand if people are upset. This one, I can understand if people are upset. I've never felt like this before. People are weird about Smash Brothers. And this is 90 characters. Usually, it's just like, oh, that food is gross. Or, oh, you don't like Wendy's? Oh, my God. Like, people are weird about their Smash characters. Fuck it. Engages are out. Say it's their problem now. And it's their problem now. It is not my problem anymore. It is unleashed upon the world. It said, I'm closing the tab and I'm never going to look at it again. I'm deleting my Twitter account. But hey, I'll look at your comment if you comment below. Did you like the video? Where do you think your character needs to go? Think I should have pushed him up? Hey, my PayPal is right there on my stream. If you want me to push him up for the next iteration, I'm happy to do it. But you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Fuck. This one's going to be a problem. Make sure Twitter notifications are off. I'm genuinely nervous.